so much to learn about It'll make you want to shout Blippi! Me, Blippi, and today we're here at Dig It in Torrance, California. <laughs> and this place is really cool because it's all about construction. Woohoo! Yeah, and construction vehicles. Whoa! <laughs> like this tractor! Woo! <laughs> yeah, it also has all kinds of vehicles like cement mixers, excavators, and even a front loader. Woohoo! <laughs> Let's go see how many we can find. Come on! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Do you see what this is? It's a cement mixer! Whoa! This one is really good at mixing and spinning all the cement. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Cement is what a construction worker uses to build bridges and buildings and sidewalks. <laughs> and a wheel like this called a drum. Yeah, these help to mix up all that cement. Woo! <laughs> and right now, I am certainly being some pretty mixed up cement. It's important that a cement mixer keeps on spinning because if the cement stops moving, then it hardens! Yeah, this isn't good. I'm a little bit stuck because I was cement and now I'm frozen cement. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> hey, I wonder what other vehicles we can see today. Hmm, wait a minute. I think I see one right over here. Come on! Whoa, check it out! Do you see what I see? Take a look! <laughs> it's an excavator! Whoa, and this excavator looks so fun because it's not digging in the dirt, it's digging in a ball pit! Woohoo! Okay, time to try it out. <laughs> this is so much fun playing with the excavator. Yeah, and look, I have three controls. A red control, a blue control, and a yellow control! Yeah! The red one controls the boom. The blue one controls the bucket. <laughs> and the yellow one controls the arm. <laughs> when you use all three, you can scoop up everything you want. <laughs> okay, time to do some digging. Yeah, I'm trying to get all the ball pit balls into the crates. Let's see how many I can get, okay? Okay. Whoa! Did you see that? We got so many of the ball pit balls. Whoa! Let's see if we can dump them in the basket. Check it out. We got so many. Yeah. We got one, two, three gray ones. We got one, two, three, four, five white ones. And we got 10 blue ones. Whoa! <laughs> I think we better keep on digging. So much fun to dig in the dirt. Yeah, if you're digging with your hand, you might get a little bit of dirt, but if you have an excavator arm, you can get all the dirt. <laughs> or all the bouncy balls. <laughs> it looks like we got a lot of the ball pit balls in those crates. We did it. <laughs> Great job excavating. Hmm. So we saw a cement mixer and we played with an excavator, but I think there's even more to explore. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. It's another construction vehicle. Wait a minute. This is yellow just like an excavator. It has a bucket and a cab just like an excavator, but it does not have tracks. Whoa, look. It has big wheels and tires. <laughs> yeah, that's because this is a front loader. <laughs> they are really big, powerful construction vehicles that help to scoop up all kinds of things. An excavator might scoop some dirt. <laughs> but a front loader will scoop up tools, bricks, or even snow on a really cold and chilly day. <laughs> Whoa, it's snowing. 
Well, we better get inside and start picking up some bricks and some snow and all kinds of things. Come on. <laughs> well, here we go. <laughs> Time to start the engine. Time to start the engine. Huh. Doesn't look like the front loader's working. Oh, we better check the engine. Quick, come on. Oh, oh. Uh oh, it looks like the engine's broken. Ah, oh, that's okay though. Looks like a job for mechanic Flippy. Super mechanic powers go! Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa, that was some hard mechanic work. <laughs> but it looks like the engine's better. Let's go see if it works. Come on. Okay, here we go. Whoa, do you hear that? <laughs> yeah, it's the engine. Woohoo, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just love honking the horn of the front loader. And, you know, a front loader can pick up tools and bricks and snow from the street, but do you know what else it can pick up? Blocks! Woo, come on! There are so many different shapes here, like a cylinder or a rhombus. Do you know the name of this shape? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's a triangle because it has one, two, three sides. Woohoo! Hey, look at this shape. It's a really big bow tie. <laughs> I think this shape might be kind of hard to dance around with. It's a pretty big bow tie for me. <laughs> Woo. Well, we have all these fun shapes. Maybe we can build something with them. Come on. Before we start building, we want to make sure our construction zone is safe. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Woo! Woohoo! Yeah! Okay, time to build! Woohoo! <laughs> you see what I made? <laughs> a beautiful flower. <laughs> it's a very blue flower. Whoa! Yeah! Woo! Whoa! <laughs> Uh-oh, fell apart. But I think we can build something even better. Yeah! Let's use this piece and a circle and this hexagon and this fun noodle. Time to put it all together. Here we go! It looks like a person. <laughs> but our construction, experiment, building, creative art project thingy seems like it's missing something. Wait a minute. Do you see what's behind me? I know what this person's missing. Woo! <laughs> Some cool, rad looking shades. <laughs> well, this is gonna make them look a lot better. Okay. We need some shades and a couple other things. Here we go. Yeah! Ta-da! It's finished. Everyone, I would like to introduce you to my very good friend, Blocky. <laughs> Hi, Blocky. How are you today? I'm feeling a little bit blue. Aw. I'm so sorry, Blocky. Don't be sad. We can have lots of fun together here at Dig It. Yeah, we're gonna dig things and learn about some more construction things. <laughs> well, don't feel blue. I'll see you soon. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> feels like a construction site. A construction site for Dinosaur Blippi! Uh-oh, 
uh-oh, it looks like we made a mess, but that's okay. <laughs> We're gonna use these bricks to build something awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's always important to remember, when you make a mess, just clean up after yourself. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of bricks here to make a really awesome building. <laughs> Let's count all the bricks that we have. Are you ready? Can you count with me? Here we go. One, two, three, four. One thousand one hundred and thirty three, one thousand one hundred thirty four, one thousand one hundred and thirty five. Whoo! <laughs> that was a lot of counting. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> well, how are we gonna move all of these bricks up to the top so we can build our building? Hmm. Check it out. <laughs> it's a conveyor belt. <laughs> yeah. Well, this will be perfect for moving all these bricks. Yeah. A conveyor belt moves heavy objects from one place to another place. At an airport, a conveyor belt moves all the luggage around. <laughs> yeah, all you do is you put a brick on the belt and turn this wheel. See you later, brick. <laughs> See you later. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Look at it go. Whoa, yeah. It does all the heavy lifting so you don't get too tired. <laughs> okay, it's time to move these bricks to the top, then we can build our building! Woohoo! Here we go! <laughs> 1,000, oh, we did it! We got a bunch of bricks up top. <laughs> I think that'll be enough. I'll see you up at the top. Look at all the bricks! <laughs> they made it to the end of the conveyor belt. Whew, we have so many, we can build so many things. <laughs> Maybe we should just make a little house. Okay, here we go. Oh, <laughs> look, we did it! We made a little house. <laughs> I love bricks. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Well, this was fun. But you know what I want to do now? It's fun to go up the conveyor belt, but even more fun to go down the slide. Woohoo! Come on! See you at the bottom! Whoa! Did you see how fast I went? Yeah! Whoa, check it out! Do you know what else goes really fast? <laughs> race cars! <laughs> Wait a minute. These have wheels like race cars, but these are more construction vehicles! Yeah! Check it out! It's a truck! <laughs> Whoa! And look! an excavator arm, and an excavator track. An excavator! <laughs> Whoa, and it even looks like we could build a backhoe. <laughs> hey, let's see how many construction vehicles we can build, and then let's race. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> First, let's race the trucks. <laughs> okay. Let's send them down to the bottom. Are you ready? Okay, drivers, start your engines! <laughs> On your mark, get set, go! Whoa, did you see how fast those race trucks went? Whoa, that was so fast. <laughs> and it looks like truck number two was the winner. <laughs> Let's race it again, come on. Well, who should we race truck number two with this time? Maybe. The excavator. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be some bumpy racing. <laughs> Okie doke, here we go. <laughs> On your mark, get set, and go! <laughs> uh oh, the excavator lost its bucket. <laughs> Looks like we need a little more practice building. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. You can build all kinds of vehicles to race and whether they're heavy or light, they could go faster or slower. <laughs> okay, for this next time, let's race the biggest, best vehicle ever. <laughs> and I have the perfect idea. <laughs> it 
Check it out. It's a backhoe excavator garbage truck. Cool. <laughs> okay, let's see how fast this can go. Okay, start your engines, drivers. Here we go. Yeah. Whoa, did you see that? It all broke apart. <laughs> well, that was one silly race. <laughs> Whoa. 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 <laughs> that was so much fun. Yeah, I had so much fun being a construction worker and learning about cement mixers. Yeah, it's really good that this keeps turning so all that cement doesn't harden into one shape. Whoa. <laughs> I'm a little bit dizzy. <laughs> Wait a minute. Blocky, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, are you still feeling a little bit blue? Well, that's okay. I know just how to cheer you up with a Blippi dance party. <laughs> dance along with us. All better. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey. Can you spell my name with us? <laughs> Great! Here we go! Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I! -P -P -I. Blippi, good job! Oh, and good job, Blocky! <laughs> we'll see you soon! Bye-bye! Whoa! And it looks like there's a dino behind me! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Dinosaur! <laughs> Do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? Yeah, it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex, or T-Rex. <laughs> they were really big dinosaurs, 40 feet long, 12 feet tall, <laughs> and lived a really long time ago. <laughs> I like T-Rexes because they have really big heads and really teeny tiny arms. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go find some more dinosaurs. Woo. Check it out! <laughs> We're here at a dig site. Yeah, where we can dig up and discover fossils. <laughs> oh, good thing I have my trusty brush. Yeah, when you're digging up fossils, you don't want to use a shovel or your hands. You want to use a brush so it's nice and gentle because breaking a fossil could mean losing precious information for a scientific discovery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we basically don't want to break the fossils. Well, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Ooh, let's see what we can find. Oh, brushing away. <laughs> Brush. Whoa. Whoa. Check it out. It's a fossil. <laughs> I wonder if this is a dinosaur. What kind of creature this could be? Whoa. Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> Check it out. Are those fingers? Whoa, <laughs> this looks really cool. Gotta keep brushing. Whoa. Did you know that people who work to study dinosaurs are called paleontologists? <laughs> yeah, I really like dinosaurs, but I'm not a paleontologist. Yeah, paleontologists, they know all about fossils and dinosaurs. Whoa, they study dinosaurs every day. <laughs> That's a lot of dinosaurs. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> it's a dinosaur bone. Whoa, it looks like we found a foot and we found the body. <laughs> I wonder what's over here. Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Look, we found its face. Hello. <laughs> Hello, little dinosaur. Well, this isn't a little dinosaur. This looks like a big dinosaur. It looks like a Stegosaurus. <laughs> Hello, Stegosaurus. Whoa, that's awesome. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> this looks like a really, really big bone. But this isn't a bone, it's a fossil. Hello. <laughs> yeah, well, a fossil might look like a bone, but what happens is a bone falls on the ground and then dirt and mud covers it up. <laughs> then that bone decomposes. It goes away. 
but there's still that space where the bone was, and sediment and different material fills it up and turns into a rock. And then, a really long time in the future, <laughs> we find it, just like this. And that's a fossil that scientists can use to learn about dinosaurs. <laughs> Whoa, check this one out. <laughs> this is a really small fossil. Huh, hmm, this doesn't really look like a dinosaur. Hmm, doesn't really look like a bone either. I wonder what it is. Ooh, I don't know what this is, but I bet if we ask, a dino expert can tell us. <laughs> hey, let's go find a dino expert. Hmm, I wonder what this is. <laughs> Whoa, I really wish I knew what this fossil was. Hmm, Ooh, I see someone, maybe they know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Blippi, what's your name? Hi Blippi, I'm Kevin, oh. and I'm a dino expert. Whoa, no way! It is so nice to meet you, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's a dino expert. Maybe he knows what this is a fossil of. <laughs> Whoa, well, Kevin, we found this fossil, but I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, I can totally tell you what this is. This is actually a tooth of an Edmontosaurus. Oh, a tooth? <laughs> Whoa, we didn't know what it was, but it's a tooth of an Edmontosaurus? That's right, yeah, that's this animal right here. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> The Edmontosaurus is so big! <laughs> oh, and look, it does have some teeth up there, and it looks like it has a duck bill. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> yeah, that duck bill was actually used to peck at leaves and pull them off the trees. Whoa, that is amazing! Huh, did it just eat leaves or other things too? Uh, no, this was an herbivore, which means it only eats plants. Whoa, yeah. Some dinosaurs were herbivores. <laughs> that means they like to eat lots of plants but others were carnivores. <laughs> they like to eat meat, and some were omnivores. Yeah, that means they eat meat and vegetables and leaves and plants. <laughs> Whoa, oh, but this tooth looks like lots of teeth. Is this just one tooth? This is just one tooth. It looks like that because uh, this Edmontosaurus used to grind up its food to make it easier to eat. Whoa, <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, that kind of reminds me of a cow. <laughs> Whoa, that's a pretty cool Edmontosaurus. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. Its legs are so big. <laughs> Looks like it's really good at walking. <laughs> yeah, it is, actually. It used to walk on all fours, but if it needed to get higher, uh, like to get trees, leaves off of the trees, uh, it would stand up on two legs to get more height. Wow, did you hear that? <laughs> it could stand up just like you and me, or walk on all fours just like a little puppy dog. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, and I had one other question, Kevin. Yeah? Do all dinosaurs walk on the land? They do, actually. Oh. Yeah. Well, what about dinosaurs that fly in the air or are in the water? Those actually aren't considered dinosaurs. They're oh. called prehistoric creatures. Whoa, prehistoric creatures. Whoa. <laughs> Man, I really hope I can see a prehistoric creature one day. <laughs> hmm. Well, do you know of any prehistoric creatures? I do actually have another one right here. And you know what? He's a little lonely. He needs a friend. Whoa, check it out. It's a prehistoric creature. Whoa. <laughs> and what kind of creature is this? This one's a trilobite. Whoa, a trilobite. <laughs> oh, well, we need to find this trilobite a friend. <laughs> Well, thank you, Kevin, for showing me the trilobite and this amazing dinosaur. <laughs> this was so much fun. <laughs> I'll see you later, Kevin. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's go find a friend. <laughs> Whoa, there are so many amazing fossils here, just like our little trilobite. Hello. <laughs> yeah, keep your eye out. We might need to find him a friend. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> oh, there's a person. Maybe they can help us. Hi. Hi, Blippi, I'm Laura. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Laura. <gasps> Whoa, and what is that? This is a trilobite, a really big one. Whoa, look, we have a little small trilobite and a really, really big one. <laughs> it's so big. And I bet they're gonna be great friends. Oh yeah. Hey, good friends like to dance. Let's do the trilobite dance. <laughs> Ooh. 
<laughs> Whoa! These trilobites are really good dancers. <laughs> wow! This is a really amazing fossil. Yeah, and these trilobites, they lived underwater? They did! They are prehistoric arthropods, which means that they're related to bugs and crabs. Whoa! Did you hear that? This isn't a dinosaur. No, a trilobite is an arthropod? An arthropod. <laughs> Whoa, that is a really big name. It <laughs> is. But it just means that the trilobite is a really, really old bug. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. Laura, is this a dinosaur? No, actually, this is a prehistoric marine reptile. <laughs> Whoa, a prehistoric marine reptile? So it's not a dinosaur? No, it's not. Dinosaurs lived on land, but oh. there are other creatures that flew in the sky and swam in the sea, like yeah. this one. This is Tylosaurus. Ooh, hello, Tylosaurus. <laughs> hey, this is a Tylosaurus. This is a Tylosaurus? Yeah, <laughs> it's a Tylosaurus. Ooh, let's give it a name. We should call this Tylosaurus Tyler. <laughs> I think that's a great name. Hello, Tyler. Hi, Tyler. <laughs> oh, and it looks like Tyler has a lot of teeth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and do you see? Tyler is really, really big. <laughs> he looks almost as big as a T-Rex. <laughs> he is. He's almost the same length as a T-Rex. You could call him the T-Rex of the ocean. Whoa, check him out. <laughs> Wow. He's really cool. Do you see that spot on his jaw that looks like a break? It's actually not a break in his jaw, it's a hinge. Tylosaurus could unhinge its jaw to swallow prey whole. Whoa, did you hear that? Tyler can unhinge his jaw. <laughs> yeah, you've probably seen a hinge before. Yeah, a hinge goes like this. <laughs> Doors have hinges and Tyler has a hinge for his jaw so he can open up really wide. Woo! <laughs> to eat lots of yummy food. <laughs> well, thank you so much for teaching me all about prehistoric creatures. <laughs> I'll see you later, Laura. Bye. There you go. <laughs> okay, let's keep looking for some more dinosaurs and fossils. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>
Did you know that the blue whale is the biggest animal on the planet? <laughs> so cool. <laughs> oh, I see someone over there who works at the museum. I bet they have more whale facts. Come on. Oh, hi. Hello. I'm Mika, what's your name? Alexandra. Hi, Alexandra. So I bet you know something about the blue whale. Yes. You do, what do you do here? I'm an educator. Oh, an educator, so yeah, you definitely know. Um, what do blue whales eat? Blue whales eat tiny krill. Whoa, look at these tiny shrimps. Can you believe a big blue whale likes to eat these tiny little shrimps? <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, do blue whales have teeth like us? No, they don't have teeth. They have baleen. Baleen? Oh, whoa, it feels like straw. Can you imagine if you had straw in your mouth instead of teeth? Ugh. <laughs> so how do they eat? They open up their mouth. Okay. Very, very big. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. They take a gulp of water, <gasps> put krill in it. Mm -hmm. Then they push the water out with their tongue. And what's inside? The krill. Mm. Mm. Cool. <laughs> that seems really complicated. <laughs> that is not how I eat at all. Wow. And what is that? It looks like a big bone. This is a part of the, well, vertebrae. The vertebrae, well, mm -hmm. we have those. You can yeah. feel it in your back. Yeah. Can I hold it? Yes, sure. Whoa. Oh, this is so heavy. Look how big this is. Ours are so tiny. Blue whales are huge. <laughs> okay, here, I'll give that back to you. Wow, well, thanks for sharing those facts with us. I'm gonna keep exploring, but maybe I'll see you later. See you later. All right, awesome, <laughs> come on. Where is the T-Rex? Where, where is the T-Rex? Whoa. That is not the T-Rex, but it is a very large mammal. Do you know what it is? It's a walrus. Oh, not a real walrus, this is just a model. But this looks pretty much exactly like a real walrus. Whoa. Do you see those big tusks? They're made out of ivory and they're really strong and really sharp. And that one looks like the size of my arm, maybe even bigger. Look, can you imagine if you had something that big hanging out of your mouth? Could you even find a toothpick big enough to clean that thing? <laughs> they can use them when they're in the water to poke into the ice and pull their bodies up. Very helpful. <laughs> Will you act like a walrus with me? Okay, get your tusk out. <clears throat> Let's keep looking for the T-Rex. Mm, 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 mm. Walrus out. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, you're so funny. That's why you're my favorite. That is why you are my favorite dinosaur. <laughs> oh, hey! I'm still trying to find the T-Rex, but I don't see any dinosaurs anywhere. <laughs> Let's keep looking over here. Maybe we can find something. <gasps> Whoa! Gorillas! Gorillas are super cool. They're really big, they're really strong, they're hairy. They can stand up tall just like humans. But the male gorilla is 10 times stronger than a human. That's pretty strong. <laughs> Will you act like a gorilla with me? All right, let me see your muscles. Pound your chest. Let's keep looking for more animals. Whoa, yeah, I feel strong just acting like a gorilla. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. See in the back there, a giraffe. Giraffes are so tall. They can get up to 18 feet tall. That's really, 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 really tall. And they have super long black tongues. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Do you know what that animal is? That's right, a zebra. Zebras are awesome. They have black and white stripes and a group of zebras is called a dazzle. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Check out that dazzle of zebra over there. <laughs> they run super fast and they can run in zigzags. Will you zigzag with me? All right, let's go. Run in zigzag. <laughs> Whoa, elephants are so big, so they have to eat a lot of food. Actually, most of their day is filled with eating. They're herbivores, so they're vegetarians. They don't eat meat. 
Wow, and look, big tusks, just like those walruses. <laughs> hey, will you act like an elephant with me? Get your trunk out. Ready? Maybe you can stomp like an elephant. <laughs> hey, these really big cats are lions. I love lions because they have really big roars. Kind of like the T-Rex. <laughs> See that one with the mane, all of the hair? That's a male lion. That's how you know, because it has a mane. The other lions that don't have manes are females. And a group of lions is called a pride. <laughs> I still don't see any dinosaurs though. Will you keep looking with me? All right, come on. <gasps> wow, we're in the dinosaur room. There has to be a T-Rex here, right? Rawr. That means yes. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Oh, there's a dinosaur over there. Ah, long tail, lots of teeth, but that's pretty small. A T-Rex is way bigger than that dinosaur. It's almost as little as this toy dinosaur. Hello. <laughs> hmm. Oh, look at this dinosaur. Whoa, it has a long neck. Its head is going back really far. Oh, I wonder if it's a dancing. <laughs> nice moves. But not a T-Rex. Hmm. I can't see the T-Rex anywhere. Do you see a T-Rex? Looks like this, big head, so many teeth, really big talons. <sighs> it's right there, the T-Rex, my favorite dinosaur. <gasps> Whoa, look how big the head is. See those big jaws with tons of teeth? Wow, they're so sharp and there's so many of them. Did you know that the T-Rex could have up to 50 to 60 teeth in its mouth? That's a lot of teeth. <laughs> Whoa, you can see the whole body of the T-Rex. The head, the ribs, the big legs, the big feet. Roar, roar. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Mika. What's your name? Hi, my name is Alana. Hi, Alana. What do you do here? I'm a museum educator. Whoa, a museum educator. So you must know a lot about dinosaurs. I do. Oh, cool. Well, I'm really excited because my favorite dinosaur is the T-Rex. I really like the T-Rex also. Oh, yeah? Well, yeah. what's one of the reasons you love the T-Rex? I like the T-Rex because it was one of the biggest predators. Wow, I know. It's very cool. The T-Rex is huge, has a really big head and legs and a really big tail. You know, they use that big tail to help them balance. Oh yeah, that's right, because their heads are really heavy, right? Really big heads. Yeah, so the tail helps them balance. Like that. You know what else <laughs> I like about the T-Rex? What? Look at this big foot here. Whoa, is this a real foot of a T-Rex? This is a model. Okay, okay. But this is like an exact replica. Yeah, you can see how big it was. Whoa, am I allowed to touch it? You can touch it. Okay. Wow, look at these toenails. <laughs> They're so big and pointy. So they had three big toes uh -huh. on their back foot. You know what else I like about the T-Rex? What? How big their teeth were. Oh yeah, they have really big teeth. Look at this. <gasps> Whoa. Look how big this tooth is. This is a model of a real T-Rex tooth. Wow, can you imagine if your teeth were this big? Look, is it the thing? <laughs> That's really big. What do you think they might have liked to eat with a tooth this big? Oh, probably meat, yeah. right? They were carnivores. Oh, so they were meat eaters. Cool, cool. and what's this? It looks like a big rock. It is a rock, except it's a very special rock. Oh, why? This is a fossil of a dinosaur bone. A real dinosaur a bone? A real dinosaur bone. Would you like to touch it? Yes, please. It's heavy. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see. Okay. All right, it's a little heavy, but it's a real fossil of a dinosaur bone. 
That's amazing. And what part of the dinosaur is this? That was from their leg or their thigh bone. Oh, so like <laughs> down here. Right there. Wow, that's amazing. Thanks for sharing this with me. Yeah. So is the T-Rex the biggest dinosaur? It wasn't the biggest dinosaur, but this museum has a model of one of the biggest dinosaurs. What? Can we see it? You want to go see it? Yeah. Let's go. All right, come on. Wow. Whoa, it's so big. Whoa. It keeps going and going and going. <laughs> this is called a titanosaur. Titanosaur, wow, it's really cool. So the titanosaur family was a group of dinosaurs that were sauropods and herbivores. Oh, I know what a sauropod is. That means it walked on four feet. That's right. Ooh. <laughs> and an herbivore means that it was a plant eater. That's right. Yeah, very neat. Now this titanosaur is over 120 feet long. Wow, or 37 meters. <laughs> That's and, really long. And it weighed almost as much as 10 elephants. Whoa, 10 elephants. That's very, very heavy. Wow. But you know what's cool about this one? This one was just a juvenile, which means it's kind of like a teenager. Whoa, so it's not even fully grown? It gets bigger than this? It does. Wow, that's incredible. Thank you so much for showing me, th showing me this titanosaur. I had fun with you. I have to go teach a class. Oh, but I'll see you soon. Okay, see ya, thanks again. Wow, what a fun day. We got to see so many cool animals like that big blue whale and walruses and lions. And we got to see my favorite dinosaur of all time, the T-Rex. <laughs> Did you have a fun day? <laughs> Me too. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to have more fun and see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> all right, we'll see you next time. <sighs>